Ever since I bought a food processor last month, ground chicken has quickly become one of my favorite ingredients to use. For some reason, not many grocery stores in the US carry it, and if they do, it can be rather expensive and I find it to be watery and taste funny. I can make ground chicken myself for $2.99 a pound, and it doesn't have any of those bad qualities, and I think the taste is leaps and bounds better. I've got a few recipes coming up that use ground chicken, so if you're in the same boat as me and you can't find it at your store, or you don't like the stuff that your store has, I want to show you how you can make it in the food processor. So what I do is I go to Costco and I buy one of the big bags of their boneless skinless chicken thighs. Usually they're between 8 and 10 pounds. I take each of those chicken thighs and cut them into smaller pieces to be more manageable in the food processor. As I'm going through this process, I also cut away any egregious amounts of fat, skin, or any bone fragments that are still remaining on the chicken that the butcher may have missed. Once I have all the chicken cut into smaller pieces, I place them into the food processor in batches until they look like a ground meat. It should only take 20 or 30 seconds to get the mince that you're looking for. You just don't want to overdo it because if you overprocess the chicken, it will turn almost paste-like. It's not a bad idea to freeze the chicken for 30 minutes to an hour beforehand to harden it up a bit. This can make it easier on the food processor and maybe even prevent it from reaching the dreaded meat paste stage. Freezing the blade so that it is ice cold could probably help as well. As you're doing the processing, you may have to take the lid off once or twice and scrape down the sides of the bowl just to make sure you're incorporating all the chicken down into the blade. Once the chicken has reached a mince that I'm happy with, I pull it out and store it on a large sheet pan or in a bowl, and I continue moving on with the rest of my chicken until all of it has been processed. You could use chicken breasts for this, but I have to recommend using the chicken thighs because chicken breasts are just so lean and you're going to want the extra fat. So speaking of leanness, I used boneless skinless chicken thighs which have 4.5 grams of fat per 112 gram serving, so 4.5 divided by 112 gives us a 96% lean ground chicken. After all the meat has been processed, I divide it up into freezer bags in 2 pound increments. I do the 2 pound increments because I find that that amount fits nicely in the bag, and because when I meal prep, 2 pounds is usually the amount that I use. As you're going through this entire process, it's a good idea to keep that meat cold, so if you find yourself going a bit slow, I would put the meat over a bowl of ice or move the stuff that's already been processed into the fridge. After I have the meat all divided into the bags, I seal them up except for a little corner of the seal and then I push all of the air out and flatten the meat down into all corners of that bag. The bags that I'm using here are vacuum seal bags from the Zwilling Fresh and Save Vacuum Seal Kit, which honestly has been a lifesaver for Snack City. Pressing the meat thin into the bag will help it to defrost quicker when it comes time. It also makes it more convenient to store and stack in your freezer. I write down the weight and the date so that I know for future reference, and then I move it all into the freezer. As long as it stays frozen and airtight, it should last for months. Now with this ground chicken, you can make things like these buffalo chicken meatballs or these ground chicken taco bowls. Each of these recipes will be posted on YouTube in the near future. When it comes time to make something, you can pull it out of the freezer, place it into the fridge, and allow it to defrost.